All right, we are on the uh, last day of pre-fish. We get a full day of fishing today. I'm talking a little low because there's a guy fishing right here in the Millennium boat. But we're in a cove that we've never been in and seems to be a lot of stick-ups. I've got three in the, in the live well right now and they're pretty good. I'll show you guys those at the end of this episode, at the end of this uh, video. But um, last day of pre-fish, so we need to figure some things out. Um, basically, I wanna know if minnows are working. So I actually have minnows here with me. And I haven't fished with minnows in a long time, <laughs> which we're gonna find out if that was has been a mistake or, or good. But I haven't caught one actually using a minnow yet. So I'm sticking with my jigs right now until I feel like I need to try them out again. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. I'm gonna put you up here. It is misty, misty this morning, so hopefully, you know, that screen's gonna get what it gets, so. All right, welcome back to the Wachita River in Louisiana, Monroe, West Monroe. I'll tell you, we're having a great time. This is our last eight hours to prepare for the national championship of the Crappie Masters. So exciting. We want to figure out if minnows are working. We want to explore other lakes. So we've determined that we have enough time to go and explore other lakes. Um, initially, we thought we were going to be able to explore just the small area between Moon Lake and Horseshoe, but you do have time to get around. These lakes are fairly small just for people that haven't been on this uh, river. But regardless, we're here to figure some things out. We want to feel good going into the event, and, uh, and that event is coming up here shortly. So eight hours of fishing today. Enjoy. Please subscribe. Let's put some slaps in the boat. And it was the day of catching everything. And that's what minnows brought into the game as far as I'm concerned. I didn't catch any more crappie, but I certainly caught gar, drum, you name it. Everybody was hungry for a minnow. So I bailed on the minnows. I couldn't stick with it anymore. I thought jigs was definitely the play in the game. move slower for it with no minnow but you can still catch the fish it's probably only a pounder though Easily in my assessment right now is there's going to be big numbers. 16 pounds, 15 pounds, very much like Grenada. Um, I know there are guys here that know this lake very well and uh, it's given off two pounders. So it's going to be 14 plus for two days. That's my prediction. Follow and watch the next episode and we'll see what happens. fish I think we got fish here Wow all right we found a corner of a lake that we really really liked and it was our go-to spot folks this is where we were gonna start on the day one of the tournament but we decided that we were gonna make a run up the lake I'm sorry, up the river. I'm not used to fishing a river. So we make a run up the river. We decide we're gonna to go to Hamilton Lake. 
This is our last stop. Uh, we're gonna check it out. We've heard that there might be some fish in there. We figured we could spend the next two or three hours up there and experience something else and just see what happens. So stay tuned. We're about to put some big slabs in the boat and probably find a new starting spot. Welcome to Hamilton Lake. That's where we'll be fishing now for a large portion of this trip. So let's see what we got in here. Woo! That was fun. That's a big fish. Man, there might be some really good fish in here. That was a two pounder I just lost. That's a two freaking pounder. Wow, I would never lift it in during the tournament. So I'm getting excited, no joke. I'm not only catching fish, but I'm seeing fish, which is awesome. A pleasant surprise, we are enjoying Hamilton Lake for sure. Oh my gosh, that is a freaking monster. That's two in this cove. I think we know where we're gonna start tomorrow. Hamilton, all day long. That is a freaking hammer. Good man. Two pounds, 205. That is so flipping awesome. Good, we're gonna spend the rest of the day in this cove. Learning, no minnow, straight up jig. So overall, we are having a blast in Hamilton Lake, a visit by my buddy Matt Hicks. And I'll tell you what, it was just a great day uh, pre-fishing, felt really good going into the tournament. Uh, at the very least, I would say that um, it's probably one of my best pre-fish days prior to an event, which always makes me just a little bit nervous. I almost want to go into a tournament feeling hungry and feeling like I'm not on the fish necessarily. It just makes me fish that much harder. But regardless, I'm excited. That might sound a little bit backwards, but regardless, I am very excited that I feel like I have several spots on the river that are going to complement my first day during the championship. So it's the last day of the uh, pre-fish before the national championship for the crappie masters. I want to thank all my sponsors. I'm going to show you what I did today. I had a really good brief last pre-fish day. Um, of course, that doesn't mean anything for the tournament, but at the end of the day, I feel good going into it. I got some good spots and uh, I want to thank uh, Jinko Fishing, obviously Ozark Rods, lifted all these bad boys into the, uh, the boat with the 13 footer today, never used the net. Um, I just love the 13 footer from uh, Three Pound Fishing Elite Series. It's just fantastic. Um, anyway, great fish. I want to thank Jinko Fishing, American Fish Tree, Cornfield Crappie Gear, uh, Power Poles, Lowe's, all my sponsors that have made this possible. We're going to have a great day here, our weekend here uh, in Louisiana. It's just a great town as well. So I'll say the best to last, but just really good fish. I'll let them go. Of course, I'm gonna be putting a video together that will uh, show you all these catches and, and boat flips. It was, a, it was a great day. This is probably the small one of the group. Still a pig. You get into some of the better fish. So yeah, all these episodes will be coming out. I don't know if I'll do two or three, but um, I didn't know what to think of a river, fishing a river, but I really did enjoy it. Great fish. And there was two of these. The other one got let go earlier today, but that's a, that's a two and a quarter right there. So let them go. Thanks for watching. I, I appreciate it. Uh, tomorrow, it's on starts tomorrow looking forward to it these guys are going to put up a big number there's no there's no doubt in my mind the number here will uh 
equal probably the Grenada number. That's my personal opinion. I think we'll see uh, 14 and 16 pound bags. There's just a lot of fish here. Um, what I did today was 13. And if I'm doing 13, I figure the, the top, the elite, the guys that are, you know, leading these these trails, they're gonna they're gonna put some serious numbers together because there's just a lot of fish here. They're just flat out. There is a lot of fish here, so a lot of just a great time. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching another three pound fishing episode sponsored by these great companies.